Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lollavita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service, first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport, and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. This week we're coming to you from the Irish Cultural Centre Hammersmith in London. During the course of the last 12 months, musicians from all over the UK have been taking part in the Fiddler of London competition. Well tonight is the awards night and the winner will be receiving a beautiful sculpture. The best up and coming Fiddler of London will also be named. This competition is the idea of Eilish Byrne Whelehan, who herself is a five times All-Ireland champion. Eilish's husband, Justin, suddenly passed away about two years ago. Justin was a fantastic musician and he was always involved in Irish music. Tonight is a tribute to him. We'll be meeting some of the VIPs and enjoying some great music. Eilish, tell me what's happening here tonight. Well, tonight um, is the Filler of London Gala Presentation Evening, which is the final part of the journey that's been since the Filler of London was launched in December 2020. The competition was um, an idea that my late husband, Justin, and I had talked about in early 2019. And um, after his sudden passing, we obviously I didn't do anything about the competition and then in 2020 I decided to launch the competition as a tribute to him 
So we invited competitors to enter the Fiddler of London competition by submitting video entries. Um, and there was a window of about four weeks, but there was so much activity on the website and people uploading videos that we had to extend it by another two weeks. And it was amazing the amount of entries and they were from all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you're very welcome to the Irish Embassy in London. It gives me great pleasure to welcome this exciting initiative, the Fiddler of London, which encourages talented fiddlers around the world to celebrate their love for Irish traditional music. Ambassador, what a fantastic night to showcase Irish traditional music. No, absolutely, Martin. It's wonderful to be here, and I suppose particularly after the last year or 18 months that we've had when it hasn't been possible you know, to meet each other and share the joy of Irish traditional music, to be able to come together for the Fiddler of London competition tonight. And I know there's the best part of 200 people downstairs who are eagerly awaiting a wonderful evening. And, of course, there's a lot of people over from Ireland. We just interviewed a competitor there that's uh, taken part in it from County Cork. And, of course, the winner has come from County Armagh. That's right, yeah. I, I mean, I think uh, Eilish Byrne Whelan has done a fantastic job uh, in terms of, you know, reaching out right across the globe um, to, you know, fiddle players everywhere. I mean, I know among the 12 finalists that we had earlier in March, they I mean, they were from the United States and from Canada and, you know, Britain and Ireland and so forth. So, you know, in, in a really short space of time, it, it's gone global and, and that's fantastic. And I'm now, have been the privilege of being ambassador of Ireland here in, in, in Britain for the last four years. And I mean, I'm constantly surprised by the depth uh, of that talent and the richness of that talent, uh, you know, in terms of traditional music, and I mean, traditional musicians here in Britain can can hold their you know can hold their heads up with the best. Tell me, how long have you been playing the fiddle? About four or five years, so I started when I was four or five years old, so I've been doing it for quite a time now. I actually started off in nursery, and in my nursery, my Louise Hunter was there, and she was just doing wee lessons just to see how people liked it. And 
and I took it home one day and my parents were like, what's this in this box? Because I've not seen this before. And I was like, oh, it's the fiddle because I'm getting lessons at nursery. And they didn't know. Um, and it just went on from there. So Louise Hunter is my teacher and she's great. Now you've travelled all the way down from Scotland, from Glasgow, I believe, to be with us here tonight. Are you looking forward to performing out there on stage in front of everybody? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it's been a great weekend and there's still, we're not even halfway through the weekend yet. And there's going to be lots of sessions and it's going to be really fun. I believe you've performed at many uh, concerts like this and similar around the country. Yeah, I have, but obviously not as much as Benedict and Maeve, so I'm not as experienced as them. <laughs> absolutely delighted and um, it's great for us to be here in London we're really looking forward to the whole concert and of course it's a great honour for me to receive the trophy. My parents are both fiddle players uh, Thomas and Rosie so I was brought up with music in the house uh, but I was lucky enough to attend the Armagh Pipers Club um, under the tutelage of Brian and Ethna Valley and I've had lots of great teachers over the years including Justin Toner um, and I'm obviously also inspired by the great Brendan McGlinchey, who was a great Armagh player who uh, ended up in London. There's lots of great people over there in Armagh playing great music. It's very competitive, I believe. Uh, there is, yes, including my own sister Annie, who's here and who competed against me uh, in this competition, and she was one of the finalists. Um, so there's nothing like your own sister uh, to keep you sharp and competitive. We enjoy music. Uh, both my parents play. My brother Tiernan will be playing with me tonight. He plays the guitar and sings. Annie plays the fiddle and we have a younger sister Aoife who plays the Ellen Pipes. What was it like taking part in the competition and leading up to the final? Um, well, it was certainly surreal um, as everything happened virtually. We took videos of ourselves uh, and sent them into the competition. Um, but it was great to have something to practice for um, over the, the long, hard months of lockdown. And it was very exciting to be in the, in the final and we all watched it together as a family. We hope you're all enjoying the show. We're going to take a little break and we'll see you very soon. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience.
Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service, first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport, and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. Welcome back. This week we're coming to you from the Irish Cultural Centre Hammersmith in London for the Fiddler of London Awards Night. This night is a tribute to Justin Whelahan who suddenly passed away. Myself and my wife uh, Valerie were down for a couple of nights having a bit of a crack, a few pints, meeting people. Uh, we came home on, uh, we came back to Mullingar on uh, Sunday night. They came back to uh, London on Monday evening. Justin went to work on Tuesday and didn't come home. Justin, if he was looking, he's, he's looking down on us. He has to be like, and he has to be proud as well of Eilish, but we all are. It's something that I think actually Eilish and Justin had talked about in previous, but you know, like fair play to, uh, to Eilish to, to run this in, in memorial for Justin. It's incredible. Now you've got a very special role to play as well here tonight because you are presenting the Fiddler of London Sculpture to the winner later on. Yeah, yeah, look, it's an absolute honour, absolute honour to stand up there and do that and to be asked to do it, yeah. Tonight um, we've got an audience of about 160 people, which is going to be fabulous to see so many people together after so much time during Covid where people weren't able to be together. Um, and also my son and daughter Olivia and Christy are here and my family and Justin's family, a number of them have travelled from Ireland to be here tonight. Now there was a fiddler of London back in the 1970s and I believe you attended here with your mum and dad and that inspired you to go on to win five All-Ireland titles. That's right, yes. As a youngster, my mum and dad brought me to Hammersmith, which is why we're hosting the event back in Hammersmith again. And I watched the Fiddler of London competition. I was too young and I wasn't good enough to enter at that point. So I came along and I've got to say it really inspired me to see all those fiddle players playing. The adjudicator was the famous Sean Maguire that year um, and I remember coming away from that thinking gosh if only I could play like those fiddlers and it's something that has touched me and now I'm really excited that I've been able to do the competition and bring it back. What was it like winning five All-Ireland titles? Brilliant. I won uh, my first All-Ireland when I was in the under 11 category and then I also won it in the under 18 and I also played in the St Colum Kills Cayley Band and we won some All-Ireland titles as well. So it's been yeah, a high point in my life winning the All-Irelands. Um, it's very special, Yeah, really exciting when it happens. It's a brilliant weekend. I cannot believe it when I found out that I was the up-and-coming fiddler of London because there are so many good fiddlers out there and for me to be chosen it was like a dream come true and I just entered it just thinking oh it's something fun to do during lockdown and I never thought in a million years that I'd become the up-and-coming fiddler of London so it's a great pleasure. <laughs>
pandemic was going on, you joined us on the show many times to give us an inspiring uh, lift, if you like, and thank you so much for doing that. A lot of our community appreciated it. The way that the, the, the community mobilised and Irish organisations everywhere, you know, kind of found new ways of providing their same services, uh, you know, in the context, and the content was really, was really fantastic. And the use that was made of digital platforms in the cultural area, uh, the, way, the, way, the way Eilish used the digital platform for the, for the Fiddler of London competition, for example, was fantastic. And that, that kept us all going through a pretty dark time. Gary, you travelled all the way over from Cork to perform here tonight. I did certainly, and more particularly, it was a, bit, a little bit more difficult on this occasion because Cork Airport was closed, you know. So um, I had to get up a little earlier in the morning to make the bus for Dublin Airport. My father used to work up in, um, as a civil servant in County Cavan, in a place called Arva, and there he learned the fiddle, and of course when I was a young lad of 10, he would teach me a few tunes that he learned from um, Cavan fiddle players. And uh, that's, that's how it all started, really. You know? And I know that you teach music back in Cork. Yes, I was a teacher in the Cork School of Music, um, teaching the, the classical guitar over a period of um, I think 37 years, uh, up to degree level. I am now retired, and I have more. I have a little more time to devote to probably the the the, the, the choicest of both instruments, right? Which, which is the fiddle. It's a little bit more expressive, I think, right? No, no. I, I, that that's not to detract, of course, from the the classical guitar. Great to see so many young people here tonight taking part in this uh, lovely concert. Uh, I, I do see that some of them are uh, uh, aged from kind of ten upwards, right? which is which is which is most encouraging for, for for the youth of today playing Irish trad fiddle music. Olivia, I believe you're following in your mum's footsteps because you play music as well. What, what do you play? Um, I play the harp and I also play the flute. I've been playing the harp since I was eight um, and it's my favourite instrument out of the both. I practice at home in London um, and I try and practice as much as I can but um, there's always room for more. Would you like to be performing tonight on stage? Oh yeah, I'm really jealous of the competitors that are able to play tonight but sadly I don't play the fiddle. I've been playing the fiddle since I was about 10 years old and the baron since I was a kid, yeah. So from a kid I used to play the tin whistle like we all do and then as I got older I went on to the fiddle, looked up to mum, competed, all of that and yeah, really good. It's the most amazing night and she's done so well. I'm so proud of her for getting this competition going and tonight's going to be a really good finale. Thank you. 
Well done to everyone who has taken part in the competition and many congratulations to the winner and the best up and coming fiddler of London. We hope you've enjoyed the show at home. That brings us to a close for tonight. Don't forget, Henry McGlade is back with his show from County Mayo next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And we are here as usual with the Irish in the UK at 7.30. Until then, take good care. <laughs> Thank you.